Welcome, folks, to another edition of Garbage Theater. Tonight's installment, Swamp Ape. I'm your host, Chase, with my co-hosts, Blake and John. Yo, yo, yo. I am, I am so sorry. <laughs> you did let's, this to us. <laughs> let's get this shit show on the road. Uh, I didn't know. Oh, okay. the shit show is so sad this time. I didn't know. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, no like no more watching uh, people's home movies cuz that's all this was. <laughs> uh like I'm 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 halfway speechless. This is what happens. Like, don't get me wrong. When it a, was a good shitty movie. This, this is what happens when a bunch of broy guys with deep-seated sexual issues Make a movie. <laughs> no, no, no. I, di- I disagree. This is what happened when one broy guy yeah. <laughs> yeah. got got some money from his dad and subjected other people to this. Oh, my God. Folks, I really hope you didn't watch this. Me too, because I would feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was just... Oh, my God. I, I, I'm speechless. <laughs> Yeah, once it's again, really, it's really where do okay. you start? Where do you start? Bla- now? Blake has topped himself. It took him three yes. <laughs> episodes to do this last season with go with gone with, with go with Laflo. It took him two episodes to pull this shit season two. That's right. So much so right. that once again we have to add new rules. I thought we'd be, <laughs> I thought we'd be past this shit by season two. We'd have this thing down. We'd be professionals. Oh no. <laughs> I love that. Anytime Blake gets like, anytime I'm in charge, <laughs> rules change. Shit, shit goes off the rails, and we got to say, "Okay, wait." <laughs> oh. oh shit! Either way, I'm excited to talk about it. Because <laughs> did anybody else fall in love with Robert J. Fox, or was it just me? <laughs> Which one was Robert J. Fox again? The professor. The professor oh, was okay. something else. I'll, I'll tell you that much. I love that guy throughout this whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's 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 get down to it. Uh, oh, well, okay. So real quick though, because yeah, like Chase and I made a movie in college. I think we mentioned that once before. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, technically, in every way, we're like equal. To this, I think maybe better you? sometimes. <laughs> oh no! How dare Look, you I've, say I've, that? I've seen that film y'all made. Like y'all's is way better than this. <laughs> y'all need to like dig that up, submit it to Amazon because it could. If if Swamp Ape is on Amazon Prime, y'all's could be on Amazon Prime. Yeah. <laughs> Ours at least was intentionally campy. <laughs> right. Oh man. Okay, so it also wasn't riddled with dick jokes. That's true. And and, and dicks to be at that. Uh, uh, we'll get to that. <laughs> well, that we'll get was to that. you know yeah. that was that was against my wishes, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to go ahead when we get to that scene. I'm going to go ahead and let you take the helm in walking us through that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my so okay. <laughs> So I I didn't watch this on Amazon. I watched it on YouTube. I'm not going to sully the Amazon feed <laughs> with this. And I'm so glad I did because I had an idea going in that something – a friend of mine watched it way before I did and told me that it takes a hard right turn into something bad. <laughs> so I knew better than to watch this on, on the shared Amazon account that we have. So I watched it on YouTube. Oh. And oh. so it starts off with – a preview card for an R-rated trailer, and then the movie just starts. Yeah, I was confused by that too. <laughs> like for the first five minutes, I thought I was watching a trailer, and then oh no, this this is this is it. So yeah, it also said that it said Amazon said it was PG thirteen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, PG thirteen. It is not. You know oh, what? Yeah, somebody this, lied. To this Amazon. is a hard R movie. <laughs> I have a feeling the MPAA has no idea this movie exists. <laughs> Obviously not. Oh yeah, PG thirteen is fine. <laughs> but kudos to them for like trying to warn people before the movie. Yeah, 
go. So our first scene, we got a couple of rednecks hunters and uh, walking through the woods with their with their their hound. Uh, right. They've got a couple of rubber alligator tails sticking out of a sack slung over their back. Oh, is and that what bushel, they were? Yeah. Yeah. I and thought they were like a, I thought they were like pheasant tails or something. No, that was alligator tails. It was just <laughs> stiff, hard plastic alligator tails. And yeah. then on one of them's hip, they had a bunch of uh, uh, fowls, but it was clearly rubber chickens with feathers taped to them. You can <laughs> see the rubber chicken legs coming out of them. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so I thought they just had, they'd just been hunting on the farm and killed some poor farmer's <laughs> chickens. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're walking through through the woods, having a little back and forth uh uh, Jasper is one of them, and I didn't get the other one's name. I just I just called him Red because he was the redneck, the redheaded one. Oh, his uh, name is Blue. Wrong color. I was about to say you got close. Blue. His name was Blue. <laughs> Bullshit. They threw me off with that. <laughs> oh, like, uh, can I? I feel like we need to get something out of the way first in terms of what we're looking at. Uh, like this is consumer grade digital camera. Um, yeah, uh, this with is autofocus. When, yeah, when you're looking at when you go to the kiosk at Walmart, the camera all the way to the left. Yeah, that's what they use for this. The, you're right. <laughs> the bottom of the rung camera. It, uh, the, so yeah, the I zooming mean, throughout the, the zooming movie, is shoddy, and yeah. Well, I think the zooming, the zooming, I think they did in editing. They used the editing program and sort of. And, and zoomed there, yeah. like it wasn't in camera. So that, oh, that would explain it. Yeah, so that looks terrible. It would have looked <laughs> equally bad if they'd used the camera zoom, but. Uh, and then so the 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 focus is constantly going in and out. I mean, this is like throughout the entire movie. We can't <laughs> we can't mention it every time that it happened. Yeah, but this is true. It's always like focus just going in and out. Um. The sound editing is is trash throughout the entire movie. Like, there's always a constant drone because yeah. all the sound was captured in camera, except there's for the scene... really bad ADR stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's a scene later on where a plane flies overhead. And instead of you know waiting for the plane to be gone, they just went ahead and shot. So you hear in the background. Eh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Every time the camera cuts, <laughs> yeah. And this uh, yeah, this was a thing we learned when we were when we made our movie editing the sound. Whenever you transition between <laughs> yeah a cut it, that has that drone, <laughs> you have to you have to smooth it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, you got to keep that in mind throughout the entirety of the discussion. <laughs> Just keep in mind worst movie you've ever seen quality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're walking through the woods. Uh, Blue throws some litter on the ground and there's a real ominous zoom onto a sign showing that they're in an Indian reservation. Yes. <laughs> With like the, the dun-dun music. Like, how how dare you do that? Uh, littering oh, has no bearing on anything in this movie. So, <laughs> that little sting was not needed. Actually, it does. Bullshit. No, it does. No. The moral of this well, movie you, is when we, don't... When we get there, I'll let no. you know. The moral of this movie is don't go out during a blood moon on your period because a baby Sasquatch might rape you. That's, <laughs> that is the moral of this movie. Let's get that out front and center. Oh, my God. I'm going to do, do our audience a favor, what this movie didn't do for its audience, and warn you what you're in for. That, that's the movie, folks. <laughs> I told y'all Forest Brides was a real phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> phenomenon. <laughs> so, as Can I, that also, happens, I also want to say, like, the, this being the, the opening seconds of the movie, uh, it's clear immediately that this person has no idea what they're doing in terms of <laughs> filming, of, like, <laughs> you know, making shots, like, make sense. Uh, between each other like the very first cut in the movie breaks the 180 degree rule yeah and then the 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 second one also does it (laughs) the rule books out the goddamn window with this thing oh yeah absolutely 
So, okay. God, we're 10 minutes in and we're still in the first goddamn scene. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a lot to get out the way. Now we yeah. can keep on trucking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, their dog gets a whiff of something and starts starts running and snaps the leash. And there's a, a good hold on them looking at the end of the leash. Like, un, un, like it's unbelievable this dog got, got away. Uh, runs down to the water and jumps in. Uh, Jasper starts pointing. Oh, he went down this way towards the river and he's pointing. He's got an, like an M16. That's like a quarter scale of what an M16 actually is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's toy. exactly what it is. And as he's pointing and shaking it, you can hear the plastic rattling in it. You can hear right. it on the camera. That was a little airsoft <laughs> pellets in there rolling around. <laughs> Yeah, all all the guns are a third scale of what they should be. Every one of them. I'm fairly sure there's a Red Rider BB gun later, but we'll get to that. Yeah. Uh, so they run down to the river. The dog gets snatched up by some hairy thing in the water. And right. the the corpse floats up. And then there's a red fade over. The whole you put thing. a red filter over it so you know Just the dog's red, dead. <laughs> so you know the dog's dead. Let's really drive it home with this red filter. Uh, cut back to Jasper and Blue. They're devastated, so they start saying, "Shoot him! Shoot him!" And they just open fire on the river. And when I say open fire, they shake their toy guns in the direction of the river, and they went in and painted in muzzle flashes. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> They painted them in backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so the wide end of the muzzle flash, which is supposed to be coming out the muzzle, then goes to the pointy end. The pointy end's coming out of the muzzle. So it looks like they're shooting little fireball, little cartoon fireballs out of their guns. <laughs> well, Chase sent me a text and said they're shooting Hadoukens out of their guns. <laughs> That's exactly I think what this is like... like this is one of the most insane mistakes I think I've ever seen in a movie before. <laughs> if you've watched any movie where someone's fired a gun, you've seen what the muzzle flash looks like. And it's not that. No, it's not. Oh my god. So they're shooting, and as they're shooting into the water, they do another red wash over, right. over them with their backwards muzzle flashes. This one's uh, meaningless, though. <laughs> completely meaningless. Uh, it's is it, their is it rage. To, to, to their yes. rage. <laughs> <laughs> so, after they shoot a little bit into the water... Uh, oh, one thing One thing that I kind of liked, and I'm sorry, I I always have to at least find something that I liked, but from, a, from an independent filmmaker's point of view, the way they um, simulated the bullets hitting the surface of the water... Looked like they were just they throwing just throw rocks. They're just, just throwing, throwing handfuls pebbles. of pebbles, <laughs> <laughs> and I actually kind of appreciated that. It kind of worked. <laughs> All right, it's That's like fun. Spielberg when he was a kid, uh, simulating grenade hits by burying planks in the ground and stepping on them. Right, yeah. right. It's that level, you know, the seeds of genius being planted. <laughs> sure, we'll call it that. Why not? <laughs> so uh, they run out of ammunition. And go running out into the water and get the dead dog. Uh, what what could have done this? You know, whatever it was, we killed him. And then Jasper proceeds to be killed by a screen wipe transition. Yes. <laughs> Just a, a, a straight black line pans in from the left and he dies from that. Which we can only assume was supposed to be the Swamp Ape Shadow. Yeah, yeah I think But it was, it was a transition. It was a transition shot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so Blue gets uh, squirted in the face with some uh, strawberry jelly. Right. Falls backwards. The camera zooms in on his face, killing him. And then we get the Swamp Ape card. And then he vomits. He vomits the movie title out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Swamp Ape. Swamp Ape. So, so from here, we cut to the saddest game of volleyball I've ever seen. <laughs> oh no! Two on one. <laughs> the beach is deserted. <laughs> Two on one volleyball. Some guy and some some girl against our our hero of the movie, Troy. Right. Uh, Troy uh, 
scores a spike on the other guy. And when the other guy <laughs> begins yes. to speak, <laughs> this dude's voice. If you watch Barry, the trailer to Swamp Ape that we posted, yeah, it's the <laughs> voice from the trailer dubbed over this guy. Yeah. I don't know the reason for this, but he, <laughs> wow, nice spike. You're definitely going to do well in the game this weekend. Damn, that was a nice <laughs> spike. <laughs> but like his body didn't even match how deep his voice was. No. He was a skinny white guy. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so he uh, Troy gets a text that he's he's late for, for class and he's, he's got to go. So he, he takes off running. Oh, this and, is another this is another thing like from Field Freak where if you pause it and look at it, there's kind of funny stuff going on. So he gets like these there's three texts there. They've all come within a minute of each other. <laughs> um <laughs> but it seems like they're over the course of several days they're supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so we cut to the university where Troy meets up with Professor Stein. And oh, this guy, this guy. I, I love this guy. <laughs> I absolutely love him. The some of some of his lines are executed perfectly, and his tone of voice just adds that much more to it. Um, he's talking to two other students that are in lab coats for some reason. Right. Oh uh, well, no, Co- one of them is in a lab coat. The other is just wearing a white dress shirt that's unbuttoned. <laughs> we only so had one lab, like coat. A lab coat. <laughs> they only had one. And he's yelling at them. And that's why I want to see you both on this expedition. Yeah. So, yeah, we've established he's going on an expedition and he's bringing the kids with him. Uh, <laughs> these two characters are Lily and Mac. Mac is the director, writer, producer, everything of this heat. Douchebag. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he, he tells them that they're both going and that they're shipping out first thing. Troy sits down with the professor. The professor looks him dead in the face. You are going to fail. You are going <laughs> to fail. I felt like he was saying that right to the director. Yeah. <laughs> So prescient. <laughs> so uh, Troy's getting a second chance to go on this expedition that the the professor got funded. Okay, he had a grant for. Uh, mm-hmm. Doesn't explain what it is. We get they don't really ever explain what it is. What it is. Never. Um, but but it's volleyball finals this weekend. It's the championship, and my team needs me. And it. The the professor says, look, look I, I know that there's rumors about you being the head coach this year. So <laughs> yeah. he's graduating on on a volleyball scholarship to become the coach of the college volleyball team. Hey, you got to <laughs> hire from within. That's how good right. he is, Chase. <laughs> yeah. So... He says, "Well, if you want to pass, you're gonna you're gonna show up on this." And as the professor walks away, he gives him the finger, and uh, the professor feels it in the back of his head. Turns around, <laughs> you have that form to me by the end of the day. And this this shot, uh, the professor is like out of the frame; his head's off the top of the frame. <laughs> what I really like about this professor, though, is this dude don't have a nice bone in his body. <laughs> he is a dick. Through this like entire everything movie. Everything he says, he says it mean. Yeah. Like he is just an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> and, and boy, I love him. <laughs> so the next He doesn't want to be here no, at no, all. No, no. Just <laughs> Yeah, this this is the mom from Field Freak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got got Shanghai into making this movie some kind of way. Exactly. And just just get me through this experience. Right. So the next scene, the professor's meeting the kids at the van with some rockin' stock music in the background. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. why why is there like new metal going yeah. for this? <laughs> now, 
I, like I said, we can't harp on the technical details of this movie every time they come up because we'll never get through it. But I well, have, look, I have to bring this up. Because you two, just because you two squares ain't into <laughs> popular music right now. No, I'm not talking about the music. I'm talking oh, okay. about the music. I'm talking about the the continuity of two assholes putting bags in a van and then getting in said van. Okay. Because this scene is everywhere. They walk up with their bags. They take mm-hmm. their bags off and put them on the on the ground. The camera right. cuts. They've got their bags back on them, and they walk around to the back of the van. <laughs> they take their bags off again, put them on the ground. The camera cuts back to the original angle. They walk back around again with all their bags again. Get into the van. The camera cuts. They're out of the van again with their bags. They're just trying to find a spot for the bags, Chase. That's all. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Oh, my God. How many times did they shoot them getting in and out of the van that they fucked that up so bad? Got to get enough coverage, man. (laughs) So... This Two people. Le- well, actually, this lends credence to a theory I have later on. This was them. They filmed this movie in order. They didn't film like as you should. Oh, this was cut things. in camera. Yeah. <laughs> so just remember that. This was filmed in order. And right now they're still in perfection mode because we're only five minutes into the movie. <laughs> so just remember that. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> so... Mac and uh, Carl is the other character. Mm. Uh, get into the van, and the professor says, "Well, that looks like everybody. <laughs> no need for a head count. Looks nope. like everybody. Let's Two go. people." Uh, that's when the rest of the characters walk up. Lily, uh, a new character, Anna Marie, and um, uh, what's her name? Wendy. The other girl, Wendy. Wendy. All show up. They all get in. And then Troy is straggling behind. Um, at, well, as Lily and them are getting in, they're talking about they, they heard that this guy, Theo something, is going to be their guide. And they're immediately talking about wanting to bang him. Yes. Because that's, that's, that's their characters. We just summed up their characters right there. Nearly every line of dialogue has some kind of <laughs> allusion to sex or <laughs> reference to sex. Yeah. It's well, insane. I don't know how you squares have conversations, but that's how the young people talk these days. Yeah, everything, <laughs> <laughs> the entire world relates to my genitals in some way. Yeah, it's all innuendo. <laughs> yes, every bit of it. So as Troy shows up, he asks the professor, is there any way we can get out of here by Sunday? Because, you know, it's the volleyball ch- championships. Uh, to which the pre- professor responds, that's completely up to you as a group. Yeah. <laughs> the professor is, yells a, out. is a, a loving and giving caregiver. <laughs> that's up to you, ass clowns. How much grab ass are y'all planning on doing in Everglades? <laughs> <clears throat> so we get a, a, a bright flash transition to show the passage of time. Nobody died, though. No. This one didn't kill anybody. They survived this one. Right. Uh, uh, They're driving down the highway. Professor's driving the van. And Carl is navigator, sitting shotgun. And he's saying, oh, we're going to make a right. 0.7 miles, make a right. It's up on the right. Make a right on the right and 0.7 miles on the right. Right. (laughs) He's just being clear. (laughs) And then, then the riveting cupcake scene begins. Oh man! This this scene just keeps going. Uh, Lily this made some cupcakes, and when she said made some cupcakes, she pulls out a Tupperware with exactly five miniature cupcakes that you buy at the store in. <laughs> Correct. So she starts handing them out, and Wendy says, "Are they low fat?" Oh, it's okay. It's a cheat day. So we've summed up what her character is. Right. <laughs> She's the big girl, right, so big girls be eaten. You're right. <laughs> so uh, they offer one a professor sign, and he says, "No, I'm on a diet because I'm watching my figure." And Troy quips at him, "So how's that working out for you?" The professor goes, "Good." 
I was expecting him to turn around, like have the left hand on the steering wheel and have that right hand just swatting freely back there like the parents used to do when you're in a car. Like as soon as he said that, that's all I was thinking. Like, oh, that hand's coming back here. But it, it never did. I'll turn this bus around. That'll be yeah. a precious little field trip pretty goddamn fast, won't it? Quit blocking your legs, you little shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and, this, uh, so, and then Mac asks the professor what his name is. Yeah, so your name's Richard, right? So your name's Dick. So <laughs> and this, yeah, this is the point where I it became clear that this is the most childish movie made by adults outside of <laughs> the, the like Seltzer Friedberg movie parodies. He wrote oh. that line. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, now I feel less than because in last week's coming attractions I talked about old Dick Harrison. <laughs> and it was Richard Harrison. I'm just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> so the pro- professor then changes his mind. You know what? I will have that cupcake. Where are the I cupcakes? How long is this cupcake scene going to go on for? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wendy's in the back of the of the van. And she has all the cupcakes somehow. Yeah. And how they lost track of the cupcakes inside of a van, I don't know. But she talking about dicks gonna... and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they got off track. So she, she licks them all to claim dibs on them. Uh, to which Mac then leans over to Troy and give, n- nudges him with the elbow and pulls out a, a ream of condoms and says, well, I got dibs on Anna Marie. She's sitting yeah. directly behind him. Yeah. <laughs> and heard every word of that. <laughs> Those are the most, you know, modern pickup techniques, Chase. Yeah. He should have just turned around and said, see these? These are going on my Richard, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, then he tops himself in the next part because Lily takes a little glance in his bag and sees that he has a quote-unquote bong. Right. To which they started having a, discuss- a discussion about, oh, yeah, I do pot all the time on the weekends. I know how to use this thing. It's a penis pump. Yeah. Is what it is. So he gets her to, like, put her mouth on it and all of that stuff. And why does he have this? <laughs> it, yeah, it's insane that he has this. He Not only <laughs> does he have the pump, he has the it's box, in the box. With him. No, it's, it's, it's out of the box. New. <laughs> It's out of the box <laughs> in his backpack, but he still has yeah. the box in the backpack. Why does he have both of them? It's just taking up room. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote this movie. He sure did. Uh, yeah, he did. He wrote the shit out of it. So, yeah, she sees what it actually is. and Oh, that's gross. And that's, that's the cupcake scene. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we then cut... To a dead raccoon on the side of the road that I was very jealous of at the time. <laughs> <laughs> the, they, they zoom in. There's a rapid zoom in on a 55 mile an hour sign. Right. For reasons beyond me. Uh, they pull up to the place where they're going to rent an airboat to get out to where they're going. Uh, again, here we go with another just wonderful filmmaking decision. They all get out, and the professor says, all right, everyone out. Take everything you need, because it's all wilderness from here. And they proceed to leave every stick of thing they brought in the van. (laughs) Yeah, and also they just, they hold the shot just so we see everybody get out, and then walk (laughs) past the camera. They all get out and just stumble away without getting, grabbing anything. Uh, Enter... Our new character, Chief. and Which I have a lot to say about this. Okay. They're, perf- they're walking into the gift shop. Or the whatever it is. Not really a gift shop, just a supply it's a, store. It's a tourist trap, whatever this is. Yeah, the professor doesn't know who this guy is. No. Because they start arguing, they don't know who each other is. But the first thing he says is, hey, Chief, hey, Chief. where's yeah. the restroom? Because he's a racist prick. <laughs> Which, <laughs> it was like... Professor, I love you and all, but dude, <laughs> just chief right off the bat. Hey, chief, do you take American money or is it just wampum? <laughs> hey, chief, I ain't going to get smallpox by going in here, am I? 
Well, it, it gets worse with the professor in chief later, but let's get through the, the gift shop scene. Right. Uh, they go into this gift shop, whatever you want to call it, convenience store, uh, amalgamation of just nonsense. Just uh-huh. it's junk. All, it's all around. like junk, like stuff that you would find in like a Southwest, like tourist trap. Uh, store on the side of the road. It's all little like Indian knickknacks and things yes. like that. Yeah. It's uh, all completely like randomly organized. Yeah. Like <laughs> Lily just... finds the tampons next to yeah. sunscreen and plastic to sunscreen. toy alligators. <laughs> yeah. And there's dream catchers and it's just, it makes no sense. Wendy... This is every convenience store in Buras, Louisiana. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy also, the makes music... a beeline. Oh yeah, yeah. The music yeah, over the, this is like the uh, the music from Big when he's like <laughs> playing with the Zoltar machine. <laughs> <laughs> the Zoltar machine. <laughs> oh my god! So they're they're all in. Wendy makes a beeline right for the snacks because you know of course. that's her character. Big uh, girls be eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lily grabs the tampons. Because it's it's her time of the month, and she didn't bring any. Apparently, yeah, nobody right. brought anything. Why are they even in the store? <laughs> they should be. Well, they should be completely she prepared. Them, for but this. she left them in the van. Yeah, they left everything in the van. <laughs> so uh, Anna Marie's talking to her, and they're talking about if they think uh, Troy's cute or not. And uh, Matt comes up and scares them with a thing. I don't even know what it was. Yeah. I don't know. He I sticks it was something a, in their face. And it I think it was an them. alligator hand. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah, like one of those well, dried... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Carl finds a Bigfoot action figure just loose on a table <laughs> yeah, somewhere. Yeah, just out of the box. <laughs> Hardly in collectible condition at all. <laughs> Picks it up and he's showing it to Troy and Mac. And, oh, it's, it's a skunk ape. These things have been around for centuries before Native Americans. Um, at, at this Take point, that, Chief. Yeah. Uh, at this point, Chief says to them, well, I hope you're not camping here this weekend. You can't camp here this weekend. Well, they're here for... The, and here comes the professor. And he says, well, we're here for the pollution study. And the Chief says, well, this, this is the time that the tribes g- gather together for the blood moon ceremony. He's just explaining, you know... You know, you're on our land, asshole. Yeah, and, and then the professor goes bellying up to the bar, ready yeah. for a fight. Comes up. <laughs> My name is Richard Stein, and I'm an American, so shut the goddamn hell up. <laughs> you see this piece of paper? This piece of paper says that we have clearance by the state to be here. Come on, minions. <laughs> and by the way, you're going to pay for this wall. <laughs> I, re- I rewinded it three times because he says this piece of papy. Yes. <laughs> this piece of papy says we have state clearance to be here. Which, I, that wasn't a mistake. That's how much of an asshole he is. Yeah, the, the minions line gonna... is, is an actual line. <laughs> that wasn't Chase Riffin. <laughs> Come on, minions. <laughs> yeah, I, I did very little ad-libbing in that little spiel just yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was, that was pretty much right on. <laughs> so... At, right after he does that, I said, wow, this guy's a dick. And then the chief looks to the other characters and goes, your professor's kind of a dick. <laughs> I'm glad they acknowledged it. Yeah. So uh, they're heading out. They buy a couple of supplies, including the Bigfoot action figure. Yeah. Right. And the reason they had to buy that is because they're going to, that's going to come into play later in a very surprising way, folks. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> another reason I had to rewind it several times. Uh, so they go, and they're about to get on the airboat. Uh, Ranger Steve pulls up and he's telling them that, you know, your guide, Theo, he's already over on the island and he, he'll meet you there. Uh, all the girls want to bang Ranger Steve. Oh, uh, they're all, right. they're all moist, like right yeah. away. And Lily especially, because she starts throwing these lines out <laughs> about him exploring her, her her swampy Netherlands. Yeah. Just calm the fuck down, Lily. Jesus. <laughs> what is what is her character? Like 
I can't figure what out what any of these characters. To be. Well, I, I know, but uh, yeah. you know, let's nail down the, the classic archetypes of what these people are supposed to be. Yeah, we got. She the, was whore you know, number two. That's what she was. Yeah, but she wasn't though. She was supposed to be kind of. I, I was getting the impression that they were trying to play her off as some kind of innocent. And yeah, she, was she was supposed to be like, the good girl. Right. Right. Was yeah, she, 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 well, was she playing along? Yeah, she was supposed to be playing along stuff? with Wendy and Anna Marie, but she goes way overboard with it. Well, swing and a miss, because that <laughs> isn't what come across. Uh, so they said, okay, let's load up the boat. With what? I don't know, because they left all their shit in the van. Um, to which Anna Marie... Got action figure, though. <laughs> yeah. Anna Marie takes exception to this, because no one told her they were going on a boat. No one told her they were going into the swamp. No one told her they were going anywhere, apparently. Yeah, um, but- no one knew anything about this trip. The yeah. professor was like, we're going on a trip. Get in the van. <laughs> Get in the van, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> this piece of paper says you gotta come with me. That's right. <laughs> so then they take the most metal airboat ride out into the Everglades out. <laughs> it fucking rocks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> They're all taking <laughs> selfies of themselves, and it's just a grand old time. They arrive on the island... Uh, the professor's pointing out the lay of the land. There's a boy's bunk and there's a girl's bunk. There's a data center down the road and Theo's going to be our guide. Um, They're going to go set up their bunks. Uh, The professor's going to be down by the docks if you need him. Uh, When they they get off the boat, (laughs) everyone is like so sweaty and the lighting (laughs) is so that you can like see everybody, how sweaty they all are. Because the harsh lighting. And the professor just looks like this. He looks like a an extra from the, the Sopranos at this point. <laughs> like his shirt's open. <laughs> he's got that thin chain around his neck. <laughs> his greasy, like, slick back hair. Well, it is Florida. It's, it's kind of hot. <laughs> well, yeah. <coughs> Give well, him some credit, for Christ's sake. So they're all checking their phones. Uh, no one has reception except for Carl. He's the only one that has a phone that works. But don't worry because there's a radio in the data center. Um, they head, they're heading into the, the, the cabin, the boys' cabin, and Max making cracks about Theo smells like B.O. Theo overhears him and makes a homophobic remark. So right. Theo's a great guy. Because they're talking about there's only there's only two bunks in there and two people are gonna have to bunk up and he calls no homo. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like it's 1990. Yeah. Right, like an adult. <laughs> <laughs> so Carl wants to share a bunk with Troy because they're they're friends and he doesn't want to share it with Matt because Matt's the asshole jock. Um, a kerfuffle ensues. With Mac really grabbing Carl around the crotch a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Mac, you know, rem- keep in mind, Mac's the director, writer, producer here. He d- every time he gets into a fight, he's going right for the crotch. Every time. Just further. Wait, he's clearly got a, some kind of preoccupation with. Yeah. I think they call that a Freudian slip is what they call that. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, just further, you know, strengthening my argument of his pent up, you know, repressed feelings making this yes. movie. Um, so <laughs> Theo walks in as this kerfuffle's happening and immediately turns around and walks out. Oh, yeah. He's like, no homo. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Lol, because it looks like they're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Mac leaves. Uh, Carl gets up and him and Theo are, you know, Theo's dusting him off. There's a bunch of lines where the actor's mouths are clearly not moving. Uh, with them just, oh, so, sorry, for, thanks for having my back there. Oh, yeah, no no worries, I'm your pal. No one, their mouths are shut the whole time. Uh, Carl looks like Robert Downey Jr. circa back to school. Yes. <laughs> Like that's 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 our we usually have to point an actor out that looks like somebody else. We got poor man's Robert Downey Jr. in here, right? Uh, and then he sticks Max toothbrush in his ass, right? <laughs> yeah, for that's revenge. Good, good prank, bro. Uh, <laughs> so they go down to the to the river. Mac wants to take a swim. Uh, Anne's scared of parasites getting up in her. Uh, yeah. 
Lily's scared of gators, but <laughs> Mac bench is 220, two, uh, 280, so it's 280. all good. And he doesn't give a worry fuck about, about gators. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> Mac and Troy decide they're going to go swimming. There's a long hold on them taking off their shirts, which I'm sure was Mac's idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> And now, and now that they got their shirts off, the girls are like, ooh, now we want to swim. Yeah. Except for Wendy, who says something that the subtitles couldn't discern. But I believe she said, I'm going to go align my chakras. That's exactly what yeah, she said. Okay, correct. glad I was right. The, the, the subtitles were oblivious. Um. By align <laughs> chakras, she means go see if there's any cupcakes left. Yeah. She's actually Which gonna... actually would have been a better line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. They just needed something for her to do that wasn't um, being in a bikini like the other two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just need to keep you around until until something knocks your head off. Yeah. Oh, spoiler. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, so they, they said, oh, the, something smells bad. What's that smell? And Swamp Ape Cam lurking in the bushes. So, you That's know, right. something's about to happen. Uh, Carl is very discreetly filming the girls by oh, standing yeah. there with his phone, like kind of just out, like by his shoulder. Um, the only thing that was missing was the act, the like the little the shutter sound whenever you take in pictures. Like, <laughs> yeah. He was that obvious about it. Uh, Mac uh, comes out. And he he like chases the girls, scaring them, and once ag- again picks Carl up by the crotch. And yeah, for some reason he's in. not he's not satisfied with just yeah. him and Troy being in the water. Like everyone yeah. has to get in right. the water. Everyone <laughs> has to be in the water, Carl included. So, but see, this only gives credence to what we're saying. Everybody has to be in the water. So let me chase these broads away and grab this dude by the ball sack and bring him <laughs> in with. He just couldn't get away fast enough. Yeah, <laughs> got his got his dick grabbed. So, as he's he's walking Carl to the water. There's a random shot of the swamp ape. It's like a split second shot, and it's the, yeah. it, in the water. Like, was that was, an accident? Probably. They they didn't when they were cutting this thing in camera and taping over that scene. A right. little frame <laughs> got through. Right. So, uh, Mac tosses Carl in, uh, but Carl can't swim, even though it's like waist deep water. Yeah, uh, if that. Yeah. He gets pulled underwater by something. Uh, Troy and Mac jump into the water, fish him up, drag him back onto the beach, and he's saying, "Oh, something, something pulled me, pulled me down in there." Uh, and then Troy uh, fights Mac in the loosest term of fights. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, then now Troy's uh, doing the dick grabbing. Yeah. Picks Mac it, up fully <laughs> by his dick and throws him down. <laughs> Uh, so Theo comes in to the rescue and breaks it up. And what are you all doing? You all had tasks to do. Uh, Carl's phone is ruined because remember he was the only one that had a working phone. And Max suddenly extremely regretful about this. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm getting paid on Friday. I'll buy you a new phone. Come on, man. Let me grab your dick again. <laughs> 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 so. Theo punishes Mac by saying that he's got to collect all the firewood from now on. Yeah. <coughs> and then... The but, swamp- which is no problem. He benches 280. Yeah. Then the Swamp Ape stomps by with audible stomps. And then they're, they're wondering, well, what was that? Could have been a pig, a bear, a gator, a panther. In, you know, <laughs> any animal on the planet. Yeah. Just yeah. about anything. So, but you're still going to get that firewood. So use the buddy system and take Troy with you. There could be panthers out there, though, but... Well, Mac Mac does protest. He's like, you gonna make me go get firewood when there's panthers out there by myself? Man, that, yeah, that's when he says, you know, use the buddy system, take Troy with you. So Troy's punished too. Yeah, right. now they'll both be <laughs> killed. <laughs> so they're out picking, gathering firewood in a big sack. You know how you gather firewood, <laughs> Santa Claus style. <laughs> <laughs> Twigs and shrubs and whatnot. <laughs> so Mac apologizes after he puts his wood sack down, and Troy's just, you know, it's okay, Mac. I'm just upset because I'm worried about my volleyball team. Uh, 
So Max says, I'm going to go to that meeting we're supposed to have. And Joy says, I'm going to wait here for the rain to let up. Out in, exposed in the open. <laughs> right. Uh, there's some growling from the Swamp Ape. The Swamp Ape gives the shortest chase in film history where Troy runs and takes about five steps and he's back with all the other people. Right. Yeah. That, well, he's there. a volleyball player. He's pretty quick. <laughs> but it was important so, that he wait for the rain to let up to get there. Yeah. So they're all in this, like, shed, the screened-in shed, uh, doing something. Uh, Troy comes in, the professor, right out, right out of the gate. You better not be high on dope, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're they say something about you know they're here they're collecting samples for pollution or something but uh theo brings up that you know he's got this picture of this nest that they found um and lily points it out and says oh that looks just like a gorilla nest right <laughs> You know. She's been studying, man. Really knows her shit. <laughs> Remember, these are supposed to be they're supposed to be science students. Yeah. But they're supposed to know something. Uh Professor Stein offers a rebuttal. Or a deer's nest. Right. <laughs> yeah. Please Which tell me you're not true. implying that Bigfoot legend as a man of science. You know, again, he's just a great person. He uh, is. So there's a microscope set out, you know, in this shanty out here. Best scene of the movie. <laughs> Lily points it out. And, and uh, Theo says, well, we found this hair in that, uh, in that deer nest. And <laughs> Lily show, puts this, looks at the sample and he says, you, you take a look at it, Professor. So he looks in the microscope from a no, mile he- away. But he pushes her out the way. <laughs> That's what made it the best scene ever. He, it, like mid sentence, he puts his arm across her and just moves her out the way. Doesn't say a word, just move. Yeah. Well, he, he says a word as he stares down into the microscope from three feet away and just goes, "Hair." Yeah, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> it's just a hair. Nothing special. Uh. The other points out, well, it's a primate hair that we found. Uh, <coughs> the, the professor gets upset. Let's not forget why we're here, folks. I still don't really know why they're there. But <coughs> they're going to go collect, quote unquote, samples in the morning. And if we all work together, we'll be out of here by six or seven o'clock. Later that night, they're all at the fire pit sharing a 40 that they got somewhere. I guess at the 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 Indian shop. And, I'm assuming uh, they start. They they go ahead and they ask Theo about this swamp ape, but they ask about they ask about the skunk ape. Tell us about that skunk ape. Theo says it's not a skunk ape because they're not related to skunks. <laughs> hey, a very legitimate point. He's not but wrong. Then he goes. He then goes to explain why they're called skunk apes by saying, you can smell them before you see them. That's why they're called skunk apes, jackass. Well, look, (laughs) you'd be surprised what animals are actually related to each other and which ones aren't. (laughs) Do you know what the closest genetic relative to a bat, to a vampire bat is? An actual vampire. No. (laughs) A seal. A camel. A camel. Hey. There's your there's your education for the As professor. a man of science, <laughs> I just can't I just can't buy into that legend. We'll look it up later. Move <laughs> on. Uh so um Troy then tells a story about how he saw one once at his suburban home, uh a mile from his suburban home a mile away. They're on an isolated swamp island in the middle of the Everglades. <laughs> So within a mile of this, there's a suburban community. There's a suburb somewhere. Yeah. Uh, hey. He, he describes it as, you know, an, an, uh, an, an orangutan standing on its hind legs. Right. And he says that sometimes when I'm out here alone in the woods, you know, rubbing one out, <laughs> 
I can still see its eyes. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I can still see its eyes, and it helps me finish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? Something about the way it Why? looked at me. Yeah. Why did that need to be said? <laughs> Because if there is a place for a masturbation joke, it must go in there. That's, you know, right after the 180 degree rule, it's the <laughs> masturbation yeah. rule. Yeah. Break a 180 degree joke. rule, then masturbation joke, then fart joke. In a, in a callback to the Avalanche Sharks episode, that would have been a perfect place to put the, the song Hungry Eyes in. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they're walking back to the the cabin from the the fire pit and Troy's fending them off from a raccoon. Get out of here, raccoon. You ain't got to worry about <laughs> these raccoons. <laughs> Thank so, God he was there. Yeah. Uh, Theo says goodnight to all of them. And as they're about to go to bed, Max says, oh, we should we should go scare the girls. You know, let's monkey around. Just the, the most natural dialogue, Tarantino level dialogue here. <laughs> right. So <laughs> they 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 go to the girls' bunk. They're watching them through the window, getting undressed until Wendy blocks their view. Uh, they bang on the windows and scare the girls and run away. Right. Scene. Yeah, it's good old good old. Hijinks. That's yeah, all that that's is. That's just classic. That's classic stuff. I mean, that's monkey and just because just animal just chases a bird and don't know how to have fun. <laughs> anyway, the next morning, <laughs> Lily and Anna Marie come out of their cabin, and Anna Marie's pissed because Lily gave Anna Marie her period. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she caught her period. <laughs> she caught her period overnight. <laughs> She's pissed <sighs> at Lily about this. Yeah, right. at Lily. Oh, we've been hanging out too much. I think I'm you, I'm getting my period too. It's yeah, and, when, and Wendy's like, I've been vaccinating myself from periods with all these cupcakes. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what the problem is. I've been circle, circle, dot, dotting all over the place. I mean, it's... <laughs> once again, uh, all better lines that could have been in the movie. <laughs> uh, so Theo's taking them out to get their samples. It's going to take all day. Professor's not going, though, because he's getting too old for this shit. You all mm-hmm. go do it. So what a piece that, of shit. That was I the whole that thing. Guy, man. That was the whole rub of this whole thing. Getting some slaves out here to go do his work for his grant-funded uh, expedition. Yeah. He didn't try to hide it. He was calling them minions from Chief's house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they're out walking. Um... Theo says to to you know look out for th- things, remember to drink a lot, and also watch out for that quicksand. <laughs> yeah, quicksand in that, every that place. Act, you didn't know that. Yeah. That made me laugh though. That did make me laugh. Yeah. Just because I'm sure y'all have all seen that meme where it says, "By this point in my life, I thought quicksand was going to be more of a big deal." Yeah, <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so it it's made a, me chuckle. It's a John Mulaney joke. Yeah. Um, so they finally reveal that they're getting mud samples to test the pollution of the mud. Right. Um, so they send Troy, Lily and Theo go one way. The rest go the other way. Um, and Theo makes a point to, to everybody protect those ladies as if he knows what's Check about down to happen. the ladies y'all. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to regroup back here later. And Lily brought a cooler full of sandwiches for them to have for lunch. And she decides, well, I'm just going to leave them here in the middle of the trail. And off they go. Well, and of course, you don't want to carry that shit through the Everglades. Of course, that damn swamp ape snatches them sandwiches right away. Before they're That's even right. gone. He doesn't yeah, waste any time. They're, they're feet away. And the swamp ape snatches up the, scan- the sandwiches. Uh... So Tro- Troy, we're with Troy's group first, and he's marking their path by tying scraps of cloth, twigs. Um, Troy's talking to Lily and saying that, you know, Anne-Marie's not a good role model for you. Again, playing up that she's the good girl, just being 
poorly influenced. Bunch of paternalistic right. bullshit. Yeah. So, <laughs> and they, they start to have a little bit of a moment, and Carl and Wendy crash that whole, that whole thing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the bugs are eating them up. Yeah, the bugs. Uh, back with Ann and Mac... Anne goes up to, she has to go pee in the woods. So she takes off and Mac takes this moment to musk up. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit with that body spray. So whips out his axe body spray and uh, loads up with that. Um, we cut Get to it. Theo and he's setting a, up a cage that's <laughs> clearly a quote on, quote PVC unquote pipe cage. spray painted with silver paint. <laughs> that's all it was. Just and it's barely hold, holding together. It's so like it's like moving around when there's a breeze. <laughs> so, so he's setting this trap in this cage, and they're all looking at it, and they're pointing out, "Oh, there's there's blood in the cage." And like, yeah, we're, we're, I'm setting this 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 is a, a trap to catch one, and then they leave, and then of course Wendy eats the bait out of the cage. Right, because they 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 can't drag her character down anymore. Yeah. Big girls, though. <laughs> she didn't have time to make groceries before they went to the to out there, man. I mean, come on. So Theo says, "Oh, let's there's, since there's blood here, let's check the footage from the hidden camera." And the hidden camera is that all the way on the left Walmart camera. That's camera yes. two. <laughs> That's yeah. camera two yes. of this production. So he's got just a handheld camcorder. Just like duct tape to a stick. Yes. That, that's the hidden camera. And they boot it up and play it back. And it's just the swamp ape dead center frame making monkey pantomime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to explain it. As if he was doing it for the camera. Yeah. I would just like to point <clears throat> out that we just hit the time mark of when the movie would have been over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. If you, yeah. That's sad. <laughs> and we have so, so much further to go. Yeah. That's a lot to, do Actually, to talk no, about there, still. There, there really isn't that much left of the movie. But go on. Yeah. In actual time wise, but the shit we got to go through. <laughs> right. Um, can I so talk about the, the the way the, how far away this camera was yes, compared to the, yes. compared to the footage that they had? <laughs> Yeah, they walked a good fifty yards through dense freaking Everglades. <laughs> yeah, the, to, get, the to get what they shot, the camera would have had to be immediately above the cage. They wouldn't have had to go <laughs> <Right>. anywhere. <clears throat> he just he just taped down that zoom that zoom trigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why put the camera right here when I can walk a mile over there and just zoom all the way in? Well, that's what they make zoom for, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> so they all run off, um, and Wendy gets separated from them. Uh, cut back to Anne Marie pissing in the woods, and that raccoon from earlier comes back and spooks her. Right. And while that happens, Mac and Anne are you know they're they're it's clear they're about to hook up in the woods. When the rest of them all stumble upon them as they were running away from seeing the Bigfoot footage and like right. put the kibosh on all of that. Right. Then it cuts to them and they're all separated again. Right. Meeting up at the cooler. So they uh, mm, continuity. It made, <laughs> look, it made sense. It might have just went over your head. <laughs> they meet up, the cooler's gone. Wendy is pissed that the she sandwich is gone. She wanted that sandwich. The only, look, they should have put the red filter over her at that point because the rage was intensifying. Yeah. It would have been a perfectly appropriate time for that filter. <laughs> the, then, there, to show the passage of time, there's this helicopter pan shot that I don't know how they got in this movie. Yeah, that had to have been stock. Or they, yeah, yeah, they, that came from they somewhere else. stole that from like the opening of Anaconda or something. Something he, he took it from like the the DVD at some like national park, <laughs> you know, just like he didn't pay for the stock footage. I guarantee that. 
He just yeah, got well, something off of YouTube from the old Planet Earth series. Yeah. In the, cre- in the credits at the end, they do give special thanks to like five parks in Florida. So maybe that's exactly what happened. I'm saying if yeah. he if he had a drone to get that shot, it would have been featured a lot more in this movie. <laughs> yeah. It would've, the whole thing would have been shot by drone. Right. <laughs> so they're walking back to the, the camp. Uh, Wendy's missing, so we got to go back for Wendy. This this is the part where the plane's flying over during the conversation. You can hear it right, cutting right. in and out. So Mac and Ann go back to look for Wendy. Uh, Wendy's alone, and it turns out that she's been hoarding a giant, massive stockpile of food in her backpack. She straight so, lied to everyone's <coughs> face and said she didn't have yeah. anything. Yeah, Psh, Wendy. <laughs> So you, uh, she, this is, I think she has a problem. <coughs> you know, this is the point where we realize that like when you're lying to your friends, I don't know, you got a problem. Yeah. Uh, so Theo goes to get the radio because he needs, he needs to call in for help because there's a, there's a honest to God, uh, skunk ape, swamp ape, Bigfoot, Sasquatch on the loose. Um, and the professor's just, you know, taking it easy. Catching some Z's in the shed. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the chief and Ranger Steve are hanging out on the porch when Thea radios him in and says that, you know, you, you got you to gotta come get over here. There's something going on and we're, we're missing a student. And then he, he has to describe her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so she's college age, African American, and, uh, uh, and who calls it out? The professor. Yep. He just goes <laughs> thick, thick. It could have been meaner Durham. about it. <laughs> thick like a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> so, oh shit! Uh, so Ranger Steve sets out. He grabs his Red Rider BB gun, which is all of two feet long. Yeah, oh, it's a, it's a legit, like, Red Rider BB gun. Yeah. That, I mean, that's what it is. Yeah, and so he sets out on his fan boat. Um, Mac and Ann are supposed to be looking for Wendy, but they're going to go bang instead. Oh, that, right? was the, that was their plan the whole time. Yeah. Um, this is where, while Wendy's walking around, she stumbles upon the swamp ape. He sidles up behind her. She turns around. He, he starts eating her snacks. Which mm-hmm. that that dog won't hunt. No. So she picks up a rock, slams him in the head with the rock, and then gives him an old one-two punch. Right. <laughs> and then he responds hoo, in kind. Who <laughs> boy? I wasn't expecting this to happen. <laughs> Me either. This this marks the moment where this movie takes the fuck off. Right. He just swats her head clean off. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just in in gruesome detail. Yeah, it this just actually explodes. looked pretty good for yeah. this movie. I was I was shocked by which it. is why it surprised me so much. Yeah, uh, it it slaps her head off. It pops like a balloon, and then he roars, which I swear to God was Battle Cat's roar from He Man. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go look that up now. It's it, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> So they, they, they Ann, do, he started doing some weird vignetting on these shots too for some reason. <laughs> Stylistically, I don't. It's like he just found that feature in the editing software. He's <laughs> like, oh shit, oh shit, look, there's this whole other menu here. <laughs> <laughs> so Mac and Ann, they're getting ready to bang when the swamp ape saunters in. Uh, so they take off running. He follows them. Uh, <coughs> they stumble upon Wendy's head. And the right. way they did that shot was they had Wendy lay on the ground and they shot her head and just had the camera crop off her body. Yes. Head. Instant head. Yeah. <laughs> it works. Uh, <laughs> the swamp ape attacks and then a flurry of things happen. Yeah. Uh, as he attacks, him and Mac are in their little scuffle. Uh, Mac's you know, get throwing some body hits and gets sucked into a vortex into the, into the the floor. 
It's quicksand. <laughs> it's that quicksand. Jeez. She disap- disappears into it instantly. This was a weird boom, effect, too. Down. Like, it was really quicksand. I mean. <laughs> Only it, was the ludic- it was ludicrous <laughs> speed sand. Yes. <laughs> This was like, so, weird. they like shot footage of her in some water and yeah. then cut that out and superimposed it over the ground yeah. in this shot. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a practical effect? They didn't make like that sinkhole or anything? <laughs> no. Are you telling me this no. movie isn't real? Damn. Damn. Mind so, blown. She gets, she gets sucked into the ground at rapid speed. Uh, Matt gets slapped away. <coughs> And that's and th- that's it. We cut away from that. Yeah, um, he gets knocked out. He gets just knocked out. Uh, Steve's patrolling the waters, and remember, Holy shit. remember, remember how I told you that that Bigfoot action figure was going to come back into play. Mm-hmm. Well, that wasn't just a Bigfoot action figure. That is a practical effect that they use. <laughs> That is because the Swamp when, Apes stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> when, when the Swamp Ape attacks Steve in his in his boat, they cut to a toy boat with a little G.I. Joe in it. Yes. And they use the Swamp Ape, the, the, the Bigfoot action figure, and they slam him up out of the water under the boat and knock the boat up in the air. <laughs> I can't tell you how happy... That scene made me though. Yeah, like, it was when almost that happened. Worth it I was like, that. "This is awesome!" <laughs> Sweet Jesus, I really did appreciate that. <laughs> I, I was still at this point. I'm still thinking this movie's great. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> they couldn't just have it come up and pull him out of the boat. They had not- to cheapen the whole experience even further with that. <laughs> it's not. Yes. It's not big enough, Chase. It's, it's not big enough. You gotta. He's gotta be thrown from the boat and flip the whole it's boat. Big, it's not big enough. Bring the six-inch tall stunt double in. <laughs> well, it was there. Maybe the maybe what really happened in this movie is they really did forget all their equipment in the van. <laughs> and now they're stuck in the Everglades, the Everglades to film a movie. It's like, well, we got to use what we got. <coughs> so, and there's also the weird swamp stuff ape. where where uh, the shots were like flipped. Uh, yeah, in, in editing You're or something, right. like Steve's patch is on the wrong side and backwards, and uh, right, that was strange. Well, well, he figured out how to do that too. He might as well do it. <laughs> I guess so. He should have done it on those earlier. Like, there's a horizontal flip screen. option in here. I'm going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, don't forget about the uh, the rubber alligators coming after oh yeah, Steve. Yeah. The the swamp ape doesn't even kill Steve. Steve's in the no. water, and a rubber alligator with blood red eyes, hate <laughs> eyes, just yes. comes floating up, and that's what kills Steve. <laughs> it's the worst. Just this terrible rubber alligator getting pushed through the water at him. Yeah, and. And as soon as Steve gets bitten and and is is being killed by the alligator, it cuts away. That's it. Right. We're yeah. done with Steve. Fades out while he's dying. Yeah. <laughs> instead of after. Uh, so Mac wakes up, in my opinion, the best camera shot of the movie. Where the, the only, camera's the sideways on art, the ground. Yeah, the only yeah. artistically shot thing the, in the whole the thing. Ca- He's laying on his side, but the camera is tracked center on his head, and it pans up with him and corrects itself as he comes up. I said, wow, that, that's the best shot in the movie. <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> or is it? Yeah. Oh, did I forget to mention Steve is in nothing but his tidy whities Oh, you did forget to mention that. Yeah. Oh, no, Mac. A, Mac th- is. Mac, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mac is in nothing but his tidy whities Yeah. From the mm-hmm. scene previous where he was going to bang Anna Marie. Because right. he's going to be in that for the rest of the movie. <laughs> yes. Again, he demanded this. Oh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> so he old, wakes I up. I think old Sigmund would have a lot to say about this. <laughs> <laughs> so Mac wakes up. So we've established Mac is alive. Mm-hmm. Um, the professor is out looking around for everybody. And he finds Steve washed up on the shore dead and uh, missing... Uh, his legs? I think. 
Yeah, I guess. I, I wasn't on effect there. On Were they just painted out? I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm I'm clueless on that one. Um, he's also so, he's got a neck wound as well for some yeah. reason. Gator nips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. So he calls for help on Steve's radio, uh, and then takes Steve's uh, Red Rider BB gun. Mm-hmm. And so the professor goes out patrolling around, and he stumbles across Mac. Uh, Mac's telling, oh, I killed her. The thing killed her. Puke. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think that he puked for real? Because that was like... Possibly. Decent, that was decent looking puke. You know, he was like so... He was so amped up on monster energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> so he pukes. The professor says, you know, uh, stay here. And this leaves him in the middle of the, of the wilderness. Once again, on, best character in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we then cut to Theo, Lily, Carl, and Troy in the middle of a face-off with the swamp ape. Right. No ex- <laughs> no exposition, no nothing. They're just there all together, swamp ape. Hey, uh, you knew what you were getting when you watched <laughs> this movie. You this is what you wanted to see. So uh Theo calls in his uh Dr. Alan Grant and says, Don't run. Everybody stay yeah. still because you know a swamp ape's visual is based on movement. Apparently. Um, so he tell he t- he tells Lily to to slowly back away and get inside the cabin because we've got to p- protect those ladies, fellas. That's right. Uh, the swamp ape then runs and just bitch slaps everybody aside. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Carl gets finds a chain out just in the yard, uh, whips the swamp ape with the chain, which gets wrapped around his arm. And the swamp ape returns by yanking Carl's arm off with the chain. Right? <laughs> like you do. Pops well, it off right at the elbow. Uh, let go, having... Carl. Jesus. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the professor's having a lot of trouble working this prop gun. So Theo comes in and takes over. And he shoots the swamp ape and the bullet ricochets off the swamp ape like he's the goddamn T-1000. Well, how do we know he's not? Like, with a metallic ping noise when it hits him. No, it hit him. There was like no, a squib. Him. There was it a squib, him, but it went, though. No, there was a squib. There was a squib of blood, but it also went ping oh, when okay. it hit him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like he's got an adamantium skeleton or some shit. <laughs> so, Spoiler alert, this is in Canada. <laughs> it's the yeah. Weapon X. Is... <laughs> Weapon X program. <laughs> So uh, Carl's in the background. Uh, he's very upset because that arm that he just lost was his jerk off arm. So we, we've got our you. quota. We've got our quota for two masturbation jokes. <laughs> got to get right. them, them jerk off jokes whenever you can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the professor is blaming Theo for all of this because he got them all involved in this in his freak project. Right. Actually, professor, this is kind of all you're doing. No. No. <laughs> This man is innocent. <laughs> so we're getting off this island now. Because there's there's a sandbar that at low tide we can get across, but it's gonna take about an hour to get to get across it. And the professor well, that's not a plan at all, Theo. <laughs> <laughs> the professor is all for leaving Carl behind. Oh yeah, yes. <laughs> Just Look, leave him. He's in a survival situation. Yeah. <laughs> This dude's going to bleed on him. He's dead weight. <laughs> but Carl does, you know, he agrees and says, yeah, you have to leave me behind. Just put me in the cabin. Um, at this point, I was saying, can we please put some clothes on Mac? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> so they bring Carl into the cabin and lay him out on the, on the bed. Uh, his stump is not really bloody at all. He's not bleeding. He's fine. Uh, and he's going to be even fine further once Lily brings him his his uh, version of spinach, which yeah, is I, a fun sized bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Yeah, I'm starting <laughs> to think that his arm wasn't really ripped off; it was just hiding behind his back. Yeah. <laughs> so Lily comes in and starts force feeding him flaming hot Cheetos. Right. Because they're going to give you your strength back. 
<laughs> and the camera work here is great because they keep snap zooming onto the Cheetos. Um, <laughs> Swamp Ape sponsored by Cheetos. <laughs> and like, and he says, "Oh, yeah, these are really good." And he's trying to deliver his lines, and she just keeps mashing Cheetos into his mouth. It ain't easy being cheap. <laughs> Those Cheetos were uh, <laughs> medically necessary, James. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like it's like when you mix the blue herb with the red herb. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that can heal gunshot wounds, zombie bites. Anything. Exactly. Why even have like defibrillators and stuff? Just put a bo- uh, you know some Cheetos in there. The video game of this movie, you get health back by picking up bags of Cheetos. Yep. Yes. So. Uh, he finally tells Lily to get the hell out of there. Leave me behind. So the group's walking through the dark, and the swamp ape just appears, and Lily seemingly just leaps up onto his shoulders <laughs> as he absconds with Lily. We'll call uh, it animal magnetism. <laughs> just right on him. He, 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 he bitch slaps everyone away again. And as he's running away, we Those see... Those scenes are hilarious, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> When he just starts going to slapping people, it, it's awesome. So, and as he's running away, we notice that his costume, he's got a bald ass. Yes. <laughs> so, Didn't great. notice. Yeah, and he that's, does. That's the, that's the minimum of what's about to come. I guess that says a lot about me and Chase, because first thing we looked at was the, the Swamp Ape's <laughs> ass. I said, does that thing have a bald ass? <laughs> Let's see what's going on back there. <laughs> Because so, I was thinking about the great outdoors whenever I saw his ass. Like uh, the, the bear that, yeah. you know. <laughs> so we, we cut back to the cage. And Anne's in the cage. So she survived the, the vortex in the middle of the, the, the Everglades somehow. And it is, it is right here when I said, oh, no. Yeah. Because I, <laughs> I knew. I knew about the phenomenon that we spoke of earlier. And I said, there's no other reason for yeah. that Swamp Ape to be keeping her in a cage. Yeah. So Swamp Ape shows up. He throws Lily in there, too, who suddenly doesn't have any clothes. Right. Um, then <laughs> Anne-Marie, once again, is blaming Lily. It's, this is all your fault because you're on your period. <laughs> and at this point, I'm getting more nervous saying, <laughs> no, they're not going to do this, are they? <laughs> <laughs> So, Please, guys, um, stop talking about the periods. <laughs> so then we, we cut back for a brief scene before horror hits where uh, Mac finds his, his uh, bag of stuff in his axe body spray and the, the wind is ruining any sound yeah. in this scene. <laughs> and the professor is all about, again, leaving everyone behind. All of a sudden, Hurricane Gustav decided to come through the Everglades. <laughs> let's Can't just hear shit. Get, let's just get the hell out of here. Uh, then we cut back to the cage. Uh. <sighs> oh, Blake, no. I'm gonna let you take over from here. All right, so they're in the cage, and once again, my inner monologue is saying, "Oh no, come on, <laughs> not this." And the the swamp ape, you know, he he likes to likes to show them broads that he's sentimental, and he brings them a fish, <laughs> and, uh, a, a filleted and gutted fish. Yeah, it, it, actually, I think it was watermelon hanging out of its stomach. <laughs> it forces them to eat it, and they eat it, and it looks like they were just eating watermelon, which is good. Okay, yeah. he didn't really make them eat a raw fish. Yeah. So, but anyway. It, it was already bad because, like, he's holding the plate and then, like, he grabs them by the back of the head and is, like, forcing their head down into the plate. And I'm like, oh, God, not this. The, the whole <laughs> like, tone of this scene is bad. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm literally in full blown panic mode. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, this can't be happening. I pick, I can't believe I picked this movie. Surely it's just gonna, somebody's gonna save them, right? Somebody's gonna save them. No, nobody saves them. He takes away, uh, what's her name? Anne Marie or whatever. Takes her away. Oh, you, you you skipped something. What did I skip? You skipped oh, something yeah, deeply skip. disturbing. 
see, I put it out of my mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me just glean over this as quick as I can. Oh, yeah. Glean away. Old Swamp Ape decided to red rocket inside the cage. And, uh... <laughs> and, and, that was, yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm, I'm not letting you get away with this. If I gotta say it, I'll say it. Eat. I'll First, but before that happens, what he does to Anne Marie. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Go <Yes>, on. So. <laughs> he he pulled like a a witch doctor thing and <laughs> fig- <laughs> figured out she was of age and on her period. <laughs> Let's yeah. Call it that way. And and, and a taste test followed. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. I forgot about all it's that. A classy, it's then, a classy film. Then the prehensile ape dick happened. We'll just call it a red rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Then he takes Then he Anne takes Marie her off. off. And dick is swinging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hammer time at this point. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I love how uncomfortable everyone sounds right now. <laughs> I am very uncomfortable because this, like I said, this at okay. this whole time I'm going, oh no. I want to oh, read. No. I want to read my notes that okay. I wrote through this. Scene. It, I wrote, okay. Forces oh, this them to might eat be fun fish. to compare notes on this. Yeah. How, how it was written down. <laughs> I wrote, forces them to eat fish. The guys hear them screaming. Swamp ape starting to get handsy. <laughs> okay. Just. Okay. <laughs> Licks blood. <laughs> Blake, what have you done? <laughs> Red rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Mine, Those mine are my says... <laughs> Ape shows up with a fish for the ladies and makes them take bites. Uh, <laughs> then he gets a bit uh, frisky <laughs> and finger blasts Anna. <laughs> <laughs> then his dick is unsheathed in uh, exclamation uh, capital letters, and he takes Anna away. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's and look, it's at this point that I'm I'm literally panicking <laughs> in real life. And I had to send these to a text saying, Don't watch it on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Cause all the all I can think is like somebody's kid is gonna press play on it and <laughs> then I'm in trouble. <sighs> I'm I'm sitting here sweating reliving it right now. <laughs> Because I really did, like, I had no clue it was going to be like that. And I felt terrible for, like, five minutes until I realized how funny it was. (laughs) So, after that horribleness happens... Well, yeah, he he lays her down in the the woods, and I guess he's going to make sweet swamp ape love to her. Yeah. She's putting up too much of a fight, so he goes basically mountain on her and crushes her fucking head. Yeah, just beats her head in. Yeah. Um the the rest of the of our heroes uh rescue Lily and they go out looking for Anne. Uh they find her, you know, beaten to death. The right. the swamp ape uh bends the Red Rider BB gun, which probably they didn't need a prop gun for to no. do that. <laughs> uh shit, I can do that. I don't I can do <coughs> bench two eighty. And then, <laughs> and then because the professor's got the gun. So he grabs the gun, bends it, and then the professor throws a devastating punch yeah. to the Swamp Ape's bread basket. Which, to do this, to make it seem like he wasn't just, you know, a fat old man, they had to speed up the film of the punch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> it looked like the middle of a combo on Street Fighter Four. Like whenever they're slowing down the big hits, that's what it looked like to me. 
Like it's so, real quick, but then it stops at that impact point. That's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. He punches the swamp ape. The swamp ape is unaffected. The swamp ape then punches the professor in the stomach and rips out his something. Something. Oh, it was his spine. It was a piece of his spine. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. It just looked like a thing. Yeah, it, did, it was just covered in was. blood, but I'm pretty sure it was a piece of spine. Okay. I, kind I of thought it was just some type of organ. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he, he pulls out a chunk of spine through his stomach. Um, Mac, find, Mac finds Anne and, you know, goes aggro and weaponizes his axe body spray. Right. <laughs> by getting a lighter and using it as a flamethrower to back the swamp ape into the PVC pipe cage. Yeah, uh, and the the swamp ape did a whole Phil Hartman uh, Frankenstein thing on Saturday Night Live. Where he's fire! Like, fire! fire. <laughs> 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 so as as he's backing him in there, he goes in there too, and he's sacrificing himself basically, telling others to get away. Um, the swamp ape attacks. Well, you know what it was. He figures I'm already in my drawers. Now I know what the swamp ape wants. Uh, let's get this thing going. No Take home. me instead. <laughs> uh, Matt gets his leg snapped, bone sticking out, mm-hmm. and then the swamp ape grabs him and throws him up through the top of the cage, and his head pops through the bars like a goddamn Bugs Bunny cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> and, and that's the end of Mac. Right. Uh, <laughs> the rest of the we get, game. We get another red tinted shot too. Oh yeah, another another red fade. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to show that the rest of dead. the the rest of the gang are making it across the sandbar. And they're gonna they're gonna have to swim for it. But Theo exclaims, "Wait a second! There's turds in the punch bowl." <laughs> the fuck is with AKA Theo? <laughs> there's alligators in Florida. <laughs> so <coughs> there's gators where they were gonna cross, but luckily there's a canoe right there. So they start getting the canoe. Uh, Troy's going to go back for Carl, though. Why is he going back for Carl when they have already, you know, said, okay, he's going to die. We got to leave him behind. Well, we have to wrap up Carl as dying. Right. So in order to go back to Carl, someone has to acknowledge Carl. So Troy goes, oh, we got to go back for Carl. Cut back to Carl. The ape's in the cabin with Carl. Carl has a machete by his side and gives the ape a little bit of a chop. And then Carl's killed immediately. Hard cut back to Troy, running back to the others. Never mind, he's dead, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice clean wrap-up to Carl's character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then, so, then there's the shape of a, or this shot of the ape just like tearing fucking ass like into the water. Do you see that? Yeah. Usain, like Usain so bolting fast. across the surface of the water. <laughs> like... He got a running start from a mile away to build up his speed. <laughs> <laughs> Dives into the water. Uh, he grabs uh, Theo, Lily, and Troy are in the are in the canoe. He grabs Theo's oar and pulls him in. Uh, kills Theo underwater. Right. Uh, they're forced to jump out of the canoe and swim uh, to the airboat. Uh <laughs> there's, then there's a shot of a rubber alligator on a skateboard that they just <laughs> shove into the water. Yeah. And that's the alligator t- taking, taking flight to them being in the water. Uh, so, so that happens. The swamp ape grabs Lily and he's going to try to, he's taking her back. The alligator that we just saw makes a beeline straight for the ape and bites him on the dick. <laughs> Like, the gators saw the swamp ape's dick from the bank and said, Ooh, I gotta have that. Yeah, that, that looks like a nice morsel there. <laughs> See, I had, and I had my brother watch this. And when that part came, the, the only thing he told me was, Did that alligator just bite that thing's pecker? And I said, Yes. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> Bl- Blake told me that interaction, and I said, all he took from this movie was it bit of the <laughs> swamp ape on the dick. <laughs> that was the thing that he got hung up on? Pretty much. 
<laughs> so <laughs> Swamp Ape then fights the alligator a la Happy Gilmore. Yeah. Swinging a rubber alligator around. Uh, Troy and Lily then get to the van? Yes. Because that was the... That was all that they had left to go in their their tra- their hour long travel. Don't question it. The van's there. <clears throat> okay, the van's there. They get in the van. They start to drive away. The swamp ape fucking juggernauts into the the side of the van. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Smashes and, the hell out of it, and then waits <clears throat> patiently outside the van as, for the dude to get yeah, up because you can see him out. just standing there in the reflection on the window. <laughs> <laughs> so they get out of the van knowing that the swamp ape is right there. Right. Uh now the scene now I got to point this out too. The scene where they're getting into the van is it's all night. When they're in the water it's night, in the canoe right. it's night. They get up onto the shore it's night. When they're in the van and the ape smashes into it it's daytime now. It's fucking Broad high noon. daylight. Broad daylight. Uh we lost the magic hour. Uh, we got a rap today. So. <laughs> like I was saying, there's a <laughs> this camera. There's only so much they can do. Like I was saying earlier, they, they're they're <coughs> editing this thing on the spot. Oh so, well. Also, uh, can we talk about everything shot at night? Looks like complete ass. The only thing you can yeah. see is like <laughs> what's immediately in front of the camera. Yeah. Right. <laughs> there's a guy with a mag light off off screen, just like holding it at the at the actors. I think it just added to the ambiance of the movie. <laughs> so, uh, the ape grabs Troy and he's starting to smush his head. But then, okay, this is how this played out to me, because he's smushing Troy's head. Then all of a sudden, he just falls over, and the chief's standing behind him with a desert eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, that's, I think you hear there's a sound effect, I think. That was that was told to me afterwards, but I don't remember a sound effect. I just remember it falling down and me being very confused. No, there was a sound effect. <laughs> I think the sound effect might have been like the, you know, movie silenced pistol sound effect. Okay. Something like that. Like a pew pew. Yeah. That I missed that. Uh anyway, the chief uh, Trank darts the swamp ape and knocks him out. Um, then the chief then uh, scolds Troy and Lily that this this ape is nothing but a youngling. That's right. And that it was just doing what it's supposed to do on the blood moon and look for a mate. That's right. And y'all and, messed this up. Yeah. And you you goddamn whites are coming in here and <laughs> ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> But the blood Power, moon's it's a, over. It's a powerful message, though. Yeah. <laughs> but the blood moon's over now, so it's everybody has good. a good laugh. <laughs> yeah. uh, so help me, help me load it into the canoe. I'm gonna get it out of here. Okay, now. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. If okay, <laughs> if I wasn't so positive, this was unintentional. <laughs> it was unintentional. It, it, In this it, movie. Was a, just an, an hour long build up to this gag. It would have been worth it. <laughs> they cut. It, it to totally the chief. was unintentional. It had to have been unintentional. They cut to the chief, and he's got the swamp ape in the canoe, and he's rowing it out into the river. And the swamp ape stands up, <laughs> and he stands up in such a way that a person would stand in a boat going, Oh shit, I'm going to knock this boat over. <laughs> With his hands out and he's wobbling. So the direction, I'm sure, was, okay, once you're out there, stand up and dive into the water like he's setting you free. Exactly. Well, the ape just kind of falls over and <laughs> takes, takes the whole canoe with him. And poor Chief gets launched into the water. This is exactly what I'm talking about. That was unintentional. But at this point, the camera had to go back to the store. They didn't have time to shoot it again. Well, Chief was all, he was soaking wet now. And that they was have, They once didn't that, have a change that, of clothes. Yeah, once that suit's soaking wet, it takes forever to dry. Not only they that. They didn't have time to fix it. Not only that, Chief got out of the water. You son of a bitch, kids. God damn it. And walked <laughs> off the set. 
And, but no, none of that was supposed to happen. Because <laughs> he does when that thing stands up, he, like he said, his arms out, and he does the whole oh shit, and then he <laughs> goes over. <laughs> it just it just goes over. It just, oh it just my god! Bloop, and they both fall in the water, and then the credits roll. To explain it by, with another fall in another movie, <laughs> that way you can see. You know, in the burbs, when Art's standing on top of the fence and alarms going off, and he falls over the fence. Yeah, that's how he fell. <laughs> just feet planted on the ground and just fell forward yeah. and went over. That was it. Uh, uh, no stinger after the credits. No. However, none. this movie did have to credit about a thousand songs. I don't know if it, Which, if you guys I don't sat remember through hearing the credits. all these songs though. There was like fifty songs they had to credit. In this movie. I think this idiot just credited everything that was in his iPod at that point. <laughs> not knowing it. Well, oh, it shit, I can't remember what I used. Whatever. Yeah. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if the thing had a dick? That'd be hilarious. That's <laughs> exactly how well, I don't care. Is. I'll make the dick. I don't care. It'll be, <laughs> it'll be worth it. Well, you think it's got like a skin dick or like a dog dick? <laughs> No, don't worry, I'll just take it to my dick guy. You know, he'll, yes. he'll, he'll hook us up. That's right. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Fuck. I'm so sorry. New all-time low. So sorry. <laughs> At least, look, I may lose these games, but I win picking the worst movies. Yes. So there's there's some, some balance to that. Oh. Okay, can we get down to business and end this goddamn thing? Yes, let's please do this. Time for the quiz, folks. Yes, and let me start John. by saying I knew that this was probably my last time conducting a quiz, so I made them <laughs> make questions kind of weird. John and Hopefully. I are going head to head this week. Uh, if I win, we will be watching the Stabilizer. If right. John wins, we'll be watching Ninja Terminator. All right. Both both will be Shakespearean. <laughs> compared to this past movie. All right. So, these if you're paying attention, these should be quite easy. But I got tiebreakers <laughs> just in case. God. First question. <laughs> what was the maximum capacity of the classroom? What? <laughs> oh god. All right. Uh at the time of his death, how many pins did the professor have in his pocket? Oh my god. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Not off to a good start. <laughs> like I said earlier, I predict an 0 and 5 tie. <laughs> I got one. I'm of having them. too much fun. Oh, that's awesome. Bullshit, you got one of them. I did. <laughs> All right, when Carl's dying in his bunk, two people have professed their love for each other forever. Written on the wall. What's the couple's uh, name? Jesus All right, what is the date on Ranger Steve's patch? Fuck you. <laughs> Just not good. <laughs> and the last one, what was the FPF on the sunscreen next to the tampons? Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, I man. love it. This is tough. <laughs> this is tough. <laughs> Get ready with that tiebreaker question. Oh, I got a couple of them just in case. John, if you legit know one of these, you've got it. I'll tell you that right now. Unless I get <laughs> lucky. All right. First off, what is the maximum capacity of the classroom? 50. 80, 84. It was 84. Son of <laughs> We're watching Ninja Terminator, folks. Hell, I knew. <laughs> How many pins did the professor have in his pocket at time of death? Three. I said four. I don't know. It was one. <laughs> 
What couple profess their love by engraving their names in the above the bunk? Fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> was it Andrew and Leslie? It was Andrew and Leslie. <laughs> Son of a goddamn bitch. The date on Ranger Steve's patch. 1997. 1885. Uh, it was March 3rd, 1849. <laughs> Shit. The SPF on the sunscreen next to the tampons. 30. 30. It was 70. 70? 70. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Wow. Chase got his ass handed to him. <laughs> I and I would why. like to mention what I would like to mention. In in it's almost it's almost perfect, beautiful, Shakespearean. John, you actually get to pick a double header. What? Oh my god! Chase didn't get any right. Now I'm screwing oh. myself at the same time. But I'm so happy that you get to do this. Don't make me do it. Oh, no, I, don't I, do that. <laughs> I think I have to do it. No. If we're, no. If, I think I have to do it now. I'm just stating the rules, though, man. <laughs> you got you didn't get any right. Yeah. And I also have an ace up my sleeve. Oh, oh no. Oh, man. Not, I wanted to watch the ninja movie. Not the sword of Van Damme, please. Okay. No. Okay. What? 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 I'll extend an olive branch here. I I will not use my card, my get out of jail free card, but the two movies we're watching are these two. I think I can live with that. I'm into that. All right. I'll do that. So, John, you can pick five questions from either one or both movies. You can mix them any way you want, all from one. Two from one, three from the other one, any way you want to do it. But we're only going to talk about your movie on the show. We're not going right, to talk right, about right. Chase's movie. Ooh, that's exciting. Wow. I'm glad we get to watch the other one, actually. I know. It, it, yeah. it kind of works out good. We get to watch both of them. <laughs> we, I'll be, I wonder if we'll be disappointed we don't get to talk about it. Well, yeah. Would well, you yeah, like it's... to know some of the tiebreaker questions I had? Sure. Just to see? Yeah, maybe yeah. Chase could have had a point or something. Yeah. Uh, what was the brand of Wendy's backpack? Nope. Jansport. Uh, yeah, it was, I don't it was know. a Jan. It was a Jansport. Oh well, yeah, I would probably oh. would have guessed Jansport. <laughs> uh, y'all actually said this one. This is why I didn't use it, but it was the code for alligators in the water. Shirts <laughs> <laughs> in the punch bowl. Uh, what was the name of the Indian reservation? Mikasuki. It was Mikasuki. Yeah. That's one and, of the things that I zeroed in on. And I, then I was going to say name if I if it came to it I was going to say name two of the three two of the four things that were forbidden in the Mikasuki reservation. No, I didn't read the sign that much. Oh. <coughs> L- like littering, firearms, Something I don't know. Those were not on the sign. I don't know what you were looking at. I have no Periods. idea. I'm guessing. <laughs> It was hunting, fishing, trapping, or trespassing. Or periods. No peri- yes. No correct. periods. Um, All right, so we got a double header, folks. Yeah. I also knew that uh, Jasper's hat said Big Buck Hunter. Well, I, we used that so many times already, something on somebody's <laughs> hat. <laughs> That's the only reason I didn't use it. I had, like, all of the things uh, in the, and, the classroom set that made it look like a science room. Oh, you had a skeleton. They had the skeleton, the periodic table, two beakers. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and, I knew, and I knew the species of the Bigfoot was Asti Kapkaki. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Emphasis on the cocky. <laughs> how, much, how much Carl bought that skunk ape toy for? 20 bucks. $20. Yeah. <laughs> 20 bucks. And a, a loose action figure. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm happy, oh, did you, John. Did you, you notice this, to too? Chase. Oh, sorry. No, I'm just saying, you gave it to Chase. I'm so happy. He didn't get one right. <laughs> it's just a little bit redemption for me. I'm just so happy. God. Dude. I came pretty ready. I For some reason, I knew that classroom capacity was going to be one. I don't know why, <laughs> but I just knew. I, I didn't even see that. It was on the wall. 
Uh, it was like right behind the professor. Yeah. I spent this whole movie looking at the background. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, shit. Well, anyway. At least it's not that's... it's not a punishment. Yeah. There's no punishment here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I legitimately want to watch both of these movies. <laughs> Me too. So I'm good with that. <laughs> It'll work. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we we are doing a, a a double feature. We'll be watching both Ninja Terminator and The Stabilizer. Uh, however, our next episode of Garbage Theater will only be on Ninja Terminator. Correct. Uh, we'll just might have some oddball questions thrown in there. I'm sure yeah. we're not going to be able to be, you know, completely mum on, on the stabilizer. Well, we're that we're could say be kind something of, about it. But, well, that yeah. that could actually be part of your punishment that we don't <laughs> mention the movie that we that you picked. Up. Uh, <laughs> like we can answer the questions, but that's it. God damn it! At least we get to watch it. <laughs> yeah, but we can't speak it. Yeah. Well, I'm happy, folks. Yeah. I'm bittersweet. <laughs> well, stay tuned for for a, a huge losing streak coming ahead, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Coming out of the gate and having to do a double feature that I wasn't anticipating that. Well, nobody was expecting uh, Forest Brides either, but we got that. So, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that we did. Well, uh, so yeah, folks. We'll be watching both those movies. Uh, Ninja Terminator is only on YouTube, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Stabilizer is on Amazon. So check those out. These I actually suggest you do check out because they actually yeah. look f- phenomenal. That's right. Uh, you can always check us out on uh, our Facebook page, facebook.com slash garbage theater. Uh, we have a Twitter feed at garbage underscore theater. Check us out there. Um, and also subscribe to us. We're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're pretty much wherever you can subscribe to a podcast to, to get this these wonderful discussions this, the moment they go up about <laughs> dicks. <laughs> Anybody else have anything to say? Nope. That's nope. all I got. All right. We will see you next time, folks.